Good evening traders and welcome to this week's Forex Focus. I hope you've all had a good week in the markets. There was definitely um, a good few opportunities out there and we had um, some quite market moving news with obviously uh, Prime, Minister, Prime Minister May's speech and also the inauguration of Donald Trump. Um, and that's definitely going to give us some movement and some direction for the weeks and months ahead. Um, this is coming out to you a little bit late because we've been away all weekend, so I've just literally got back. So I'm not going to waste any more of your time. I'm going to jump straight over to the charts and talk to you about the opportunity that we're going to be looking at in this week's Forex Focus. So the opportunity that we like and we're looking at for the Forex Focus for next week is the one in the pound CAD. The pound CAD, well, all of the, the pound pairs really, they, they gapped lower at the beginning of the week and then have done nothing but rally um, throughout the week. And you can see that we've got some very, very strong bodied green or sort of turquoisey um, candles here. Um, and it's pulling back to this previous level. If I zoom out a little bit, previous level of support over here, which could become resistance. Now, a lot of this uh, positive sentiment towards the pound is obviously, um, as I said, to do with Theresa May's comments in the middle of the week and how and what her plans are for um, for Brexit and outlining, you know, what um, what we're going to do ultimately. And the markets took it very, very positively. However. You know, my brother and I don't think that it's going to be quite as straightforward as that. And we feel that there is going to be some more negativity towards the pound. And this certainly isn't just going to be a one way street and the pound will turn around from here and rally on all the way up there. There's going to be some more selling pressure before and if we do go into a, into a pound uptrend. So that, from that perspective, we identified this level here, which looks like a, a pretty strong level. It's previous level of support. Um, which is now acting as resistance, or it could act as resistance potentially. We have the 100 moving average over here, and we also have another level around there. What is important to understand when you're trading is that we're not necessarily looking for a pit perfect touch of the level and reversal of the level. We identify these levels as sort of areas of interest, so that we could see the pound rally on up to this level here. Or we could see it go on all the way up to this level here, um, which is the 10. If you can't see it there, because I've got the screen zoomed out a little bit, it is the 107100 level, or around that area anyway. But ultimately, we're looking for the market to react in and around this area here, which is where we'll look to start selling again um, and look for the market to ultimately come down to around the lows or at least make an attempt to get down to the lows. And then if that fails, then we will entertain a break to the upside. But next week, certainly, we are hoping that the pound will pull back to around this area here and then give us a one, two, three reversal. So we won't be looking for that on the daily chart. We will jump down to something like the four hour charts like this one here. And we will look to trade it, uh, the one, two, three reversal on the four hour chart, or maybe even the one hour chart. We'll see what the technical setup looks like when we get there. But ultimately, that's what we're looking for. We're, look, we're hoping that the market will pull back to this sort of area here, then give us a technical reversal. It will literally be, be pit perfect. As I said, looking at the daily chart there, it will come in conjunction with the 100 moving average. I'm sure if we drew a Fibonacci line from this swing high to that swing low there, you would see that it comes out around the sort of like the 71.8 um, retracement level as well. So a lot of technical things going for our trade here. Obviously, if it doesn't set up, it doesn't set up. We leave it. Um, no harm there. We won't lose any money. What we need to make sure that we don't do is obviously... Um, try and force the trade. So just because we we are identifying this as what could potentially be a high probability trade, it doesn't mean that it must happen. If it doesn't occur, what you don't need to do is sit there and kind of turn your monitor on its side and try and invent a trade that absolutely doesn't exist. Okay, so that wraps it up for this week's Forex Focus. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry that it's a bit of a quick one and it's coming out to you a little bit later. Um, we've been, as I mentioned earlier, we've been away all weekend, just got back now. But hopefully you'll get some value out of it. Please, you know, give us a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Post a comment. Thank you to everybody that's posting comments recently. Really, really do appreciate that. And we're happy we're helping all of you. If you've got any questions, post a comment or drop us an email. Otherwise, thank you very, very much for watching. And until ne next week, happy trading. And I look forward to seeing you next week's Forex Focus. Take care now.